so back to that first part of the question, as far as the system for following up on a candidate, do you, you know, you, you, you send them home with this packet of information, you spend lots of time with them. And these are very key elements to securing that person's going to become part of the program. But what do you do about the, the patients that it just isn't sinking in with? Is there an extended system? Uh, maybe yeah. you see them again this, or? Yeah, this is, this is a, another great question. By the way, I don't give them the packet right away. We okay. send the packet to them because it takes me a while to, to derive. It has more value that way. Right. They get it in the mail. They get paper, you know, which is now mm -hmm. very unique, you know, as opposed right. to something electronically. And they can do whatever they want. We do email them a week or two afterwards and say two things. We want to make sure you receive the packet and make sure you don't have any further questions. Mm -hmm. Because the data we collected during the consultation is good for two or three weeks. At which time you have to come back and I have to recheck my data because everything we do is based on that, that, that initial data. So it gives them some sort of deadline that, yeah, I have okay. to make a decision. If they decide not to decide, they go just back. The next year they come in, if they come back, I it says right there, presented myopia control, ortho K, whatever we presented, and we present it again. And sometimes you just have to be patient. Myopia doesn't get better. If they're gonna go for this, they're gonna right. go on the second or third or fourth year their child progresses. That's why it's so critically important to impress these pa pa current patients, your current patients, because they are the ones that are going to advocate for you on the soccer field, in the Chinese school, in the regular school, in the family gatherings, because then the bar is low. It's like, oh, this practice has been recommended to me. I kind of know what's going on. Child sleeps with the lens, been wearing it a few years. Their eyesight hasn't progressed much over the years. I know Johnny who wears them. So just look how much easier my consultation is as opposed to someone blindsided by saying, you know what, instead of increasing the power of your soft contacts or eyeglasses, there's another option. Well, that's a big learning curve at that point for the parent. Mm -hmm. And so for the, the doctor gets discouraged. This doctor shouldn't get discouraged. They should follow my protocol that I just outlined with them, make it their own. I promise you, it works.